Am I great with timing, or am I great with time? But joking aside, I didn't really want to make this video for two reasons. One, because I'm late, obviously, so there's really no point to talking about it since no one else does anymore. And two, YouTubers like Map Dominus explained why this video was terrible so much better than I could ever have done. Although... I did say I would make this video in both my Total Stuffed Island Episode 7 video and in my What Rant video should I make first video. Plus seeing the final results on said video, let's just say you guys really wanted me to make this video. So yeah, despite being late to making this video and the fact that other people described why this video sucked way better than I could, I'm still gonna make this rant video nonetheless to give you guys exactly what you want. So without further ado, let's actually start the rant. I'm only going to talk about three of my biggest problems with the video because, well, if I explained everything wrong with the video, we would be here all day. Anyway, my first problem with the video is that, like it or not, it didn't explain everything about Jeffy like Logan said it would. And you might be wondering, well, if it didn't explain everything about Jeffy, what did it explain about him? Well, let's watch the video and find out. So in Jeffy's parents, it explained who Mo Jeffy's mom and dad are. It explained how Jeffy got to Mario's house in Mario or the Babysitter. We know why Jeffy went to Mario's house in the first place. And we know why Jeffy has his name written on his shirt. And that's it. Yes, really. They only explained four things about him. Now, I would count the reason why Nancy leaves Jeffy in the first place if it was really well explained. Which, in this case, it wasn't. I mean, just listen to the reason why Nancy leaves Jeffy. All right, Jeffy, I want you to go out there and find a new family to live with. Why, Mommy? Why can't I just live with you for the rest of my life? Because you're annoying and stupid and I hate you. And that's it? Yep. Oh, okay. Heck, we don't even know why he has a pencil, a helmet, or a diaper with him. They're just there and are just never explained at all in the video. Now, you can make the argument that Logan wanted us to pinpoint the details to have, uh, have the questions answered so he didn't have to actually outright tell us. But here's the thing though, when you have to pinpoint the details on a video where it was specifically made to answer questions about this someone or something, that's when you know something's wrong. So yeah, Logan didn't do an amazing job with explaining everything about Jeffy like he said he would in that one Inflated Dalmatians livestream a year ago, now did he? But anyway, on to the next problem I have with the video. The parents themselves are horribly done. I'm gonna go through each of the parents one at a time, and I want you guys to actually think about everything I say. Starting with Jacques. So literally 30 seconds into the video, they talk about how Jacques is dead and his million dollar fortune goes to his only child, who we don't know about what currently. And here's the immediate problem. They outright tell you Jacques is Jeffy's dad, in the beginning of the video. And if for some reason you're wondering, how do you know that Jacques is Jeffy's dad? Two things. One, why would they talk about Jacques in a video where we find out who Jeffy's parents are 30 seconds into the dang video? Another reason as to why I knew this? This line. Oh, and uh, now that Jacques is dead, he leaves his million dollar fortune to his only child, which we still have no idea who is, so... Yeah, if you find this random kid, then good for you, I guess. Also, I want to remember that one part, the million dollar fortune part, okay? Just, just remember that. Another reason why I have a big problem with this part of the video is that, well, we know next to nothing about Jock. All we know about Jock is that he was in one video, specifically Junior's painting, and the only thing we know about him in particular is that he was a famous French painter who took painting seriously and is Jeffy's dad. So yeah, caroling off a character that was only in one vi video and we barely knew a thing about, and then saying, oh, he was Jeffy's dad, just absolutely confuses me. And then, there's Nancy. Do you still remember the million dollar fortune men men thing mentioned in the new segment? Okay, keep that in mind. And now, take a look at Nancy. A character who looks like a total, complete mess and just does anything she wants for money. And there you go. There's the plot of your video. That's it. That, that's, those are the only two details you needed. Money, and then look at her, and bam. She's just only there for Jeffy for the money. Now, I wouldn't really mind it so much if it wasn't for the fact that it was just so painfully obvious. And here's the thing. If the news segment wasn't there at the beginning of the video, we would be even more shocked at the fact that Jacques is Jeffy's dad because, well, 
we wouldn't have a single clue that that would be the case until now. So all in all, the parents weren't done well, which is a huge disappointment for a parent's video. And the final problem I have with this video is, well, fittingly enough, the end of the video. You know, the one where Mario has the choice of either adopting Jeffy or taking him to foster care, to which he ends up adopting Jeffy anyway. There's really not, not much to talk about with the scene except for one thing. Why does Mario adopt Jeffy? In earlier videos, Jeffy was nothing more but an absolute jerk to Mario, and Mario himself said in the video that he hated living with him. Well, Jeffy has lived with me and Rosalina for a year now, but I haven't really been enjoying my time with him ever since. Okay, and uh, are you positive that you have ab absolutely no good moments with him whatsoever? Hmm, let me think there. Uh, nope, nope, I am absolutely positive that I have absolutely no good moments with him whatsoever, sir. And yet, in a few seconds later, he's all like, But you know what? I will adopt you, Jeffy. Yay! Wait, what? And we're just sitting here wondering, why? I can kind of understand that Mario has a bit of a heart and just wants to give Jeffy the best bit of care he can get. But here's the thing. Jeffy has been an absolute jerk to you 99% of the time he's been living with you in Rosalina. And the other 1% is just him being a normal, stupid kid, so... Yeah, nothing out of the ordinary there. So really, this is the actual reason as to why Mario adopts Jeffy. Well, officer, if I didn't adopt Jeffy, that would technically mean he would be kicked out of the cast forever, we would lose thousands of subscribers, and we would be losing money. Oh, okay. Alright, sir, you uh, have fun with your new child and make some more money, okay? I'm sorry! But it really is true! And you know what, I'm starting to get tired of talking about this video, so I'm just gonna wrap this rant up. Jeffy's Parents isn't just a bad video that was overhyped. But it's also a rushed video when you actually look at it and think. From certain scenes feeling like they were thrown in last minute, to certain things not being explained well or, heck, not even explained at all, you can tell that this video was actually rushed. But not only that, I feel like this video was only made to make the Jeffy haters like Jeffy. Two ways you can tell with this is one, with Jeffy's tragic backstory, which really isn't that tragic at all. In fact, I think it's more cliche than anything. The other way to tell is that they try way too hard to make you feel bad for Jeffy, which I must ask. How? From Jeffy the Babysitter to this video, and heck, even future videos show Jeffy is nothing more but a spoiled, rotten jerk. So I'm sorry, I can't feel bad for Jeffy because they never showed us that Jeffy had a tragic backstory or whatever. Which is why, in my opinion, Jeffy's Parents is an overrated video. And the final thing I'm gonna say is, thank goodness the problems were fixed in Joseph's mom. Just... Thank goodness. So yeah, this was my rant on Jeffy's parents. I hope you enjoyed it. And what? Uh, uh, hold on a second. Who on earth is screaming in here? Why, 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 why? Of course. I did absolutely nothing wrong, Nintendo, so why am you punishing me, huh? All right, Junior. What is it that was so serious that you just had to be screaming what? <laughs> Let me guess. Playing Splatoon 2, got angry over someone being better than you, and you just dis disconnected in rage. Well, two of the three things you just said was correct, except for the third one. Oh, so what really happened? Basically, I was playing Turf War, legally by the way, and then two minutes into the match, I get kicked because, oh, communication error occurred, and then when I try to sign back in, BAM! I get hit with this! Oh, well, I ran about it for you, but I'm a bit tired, so yeah, you're on your own with this one. Nintendo!